Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be as a response to a question I got uh, on my YouTube channel and the question was how to uh, apply a high poly version detail to low poly version and uh, then unwrap the low poly version completely in ZBrush and as you can see here I have a high poly version of a model that I just scribbled quickly and it has a value of 915,000 polygons and then I have created um, a low poly version with displacement mats applied to it and the poly count is 640 polygons so it's like more than 100 times smaller than the high poly version and uh, the main issue was with the high poly version that you cannot go down to lower subdivision level because you don't have it for any kind of reason so uh, I have like uh, a tutorial created for um, using Zuri Mesher and Unwrap uh, plugin in uh, ZBrush and that you can check out for the mo more um, complex shapes of your models but if you have something like this uh, you can easily uh, recreate that by not using the zero measure but maybe just try something else and like redo this kind of model this kind of uh, polygons and this is really easy to create I just use the cube 3d and make a poly mesh 3d out of it and under initialize I then just created a cube cube because you can see it has all polygons four sided polygons uh, on all sides and then just deformation and just resize it a little bit um, so it's a little bit bigger and then using a Z modeler brush by pressing B Z B Z M and then hover over a polygon right click on it and select Q mesh and flat poly group and I just uh, resize it a little bit so it looks something like this I'm just holding uh, shift to resize it without creating a new segment and if you want to uh, get rid of this segment just uh, edges just right click on and select insert and then just hold alt and click on it to get rid of them and if you want to apply divide this, this polygon unified sized uh, polygons then it ju just specify resolution and then cl click anywhere on the polygon and it will create a new uh, polygon distribution control V control W to uh, re regroup it in one polygroup then I just uh, what I did then I just go down to polygroups and group by normals this way every face has been uh, create uh, has, has been put in a separate polygroup then under Z plugin you can find it up here I just docked it to the side Z plugin UV master I just uh, click on polygroup and unwrap or first work on clone this is the most this is the more appropriate way work on clone polygroup and unwrap flatten so you can see how your polygroup was how your model was UV unwrapped uh, according to the polygroups unflatten copy UVs go back down to uh, tools and select the, this tool and paste UVs then just go back to your hard poly version uh, high poly version and under sub tool I'm just gonna append an only created uh, only created model first rotate it 90 degrees and unified so here you go 
here is the low poly version and underneath is the high poly version then you all you need to do is go under geometry turn off uh, smooth and divide it a couple of times and then turn on smooth and divide it a couple of times more so let's say we have 655,000 polygons if you remember at the beginning we said we have like 900,000 uh, polygons on high poly version so your number on the low poly uh, model should be approximately the same so uh, the details can be applied to, to your new created uh, subtool and then just make sure you have both subtools visible and then just uh, project and maybe play around with these settings like 0.1 distance and project all and let's just wait to uh, for zero measure to for the ZBrush to do its magic and we can see then so here you see now I have like the projection uh, projected into onto our new subtool so this is the original one this is the original one and this is uh, the newly created one so you can not even see the difference and then you just go down to lower subdivision level and under displacement map create displacement map and it will create a displacement map also you can do this the same for the normal map create, create normal map and as you can see the normal map is created and in the displacement map you can press D on the uh, keyboard a couple of times until you uh, reach the poly group uh, polygon number that you like because in the lowest subdivision level uh, the edges are really straight and it's really noticeable that you are working on the low poly version but on this this has like uh, 2.5k polygons and if you remember the high poly version had 916k polygons and this is this looks uh, pretty much uh, similar to what you can see here so then just uh, you can uh, you can clone displacement map and export it also for normal map and export it to your hard drive and save it and use it in any sub software that you like so this was pretty much the quick overview how you can create a low poly version uh, subtool and project the detail from how poly version and use the UV master to unwrap your model in ZBrush and that's pretty much it for this tutorial until next time bye